Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to resolve an issue where your Macintosh device, such as an iPod, iPhone, or iPad, is not able to properly sync up or not being detected on your Windows 10 device. I believe this will work for earlier versions of Windows as well. And this is a pretty generic tutorial, but I did want to highlight a few different things so you guys can try to hopefully resolve that issue. So we're going to jump right into it and we would start by heading over to the start menu and you want to open it up by left clicking on it and then you want to type in programs and features. On Windows 10 and earlier versions of Windows one of the best matches that comes up should say programs and features. You want to left click on it to open it up. So now in the programs and features window there are two different programs you want to uninstall. The first one would be the Apple mobile device support and the second one would be iTunes. So assuming you had both of them installed, you would just left click on the entry and then left click on the uninstall button up here. Once you uninstall both of them, you would go back onto the Apple website and manually download both of those again. You want to make sure you have the most up-to-date version of both of them, so I'd recommend uninstalling them. I'd recommend that you go online and find both of those programs. It shouldn't be that hard to find. Once you've done doing that, if you're still experiencing problems after reinstalling those applications, I recommend opening up the Star menu again and then going to Device Manager. On Windows 10, it should be listed right above Control Panel. Windows 7 and Windows 8 users should just say Device Manager. You want to open that up. You want to go underneath the Universal Serial Bus controllers right here. Either double click on this entry or left click on the little arrow next to it. There should be something that says something along the lines of Apple Mobile Device USB Driver. What you'd want to do is right click on that and then left click on Update Driver Software. You want to search automatically for updated driver software. Again, you would do this for something that says Apple Mobile Device USB Driver or something along those lines. It should have Apple in the name of the driver. I'm just performing this on a generic USB hub for this video, but you guys should have something that says Apple in here. If that still does not resolve the problem after restarting your computer, I recommend going back into the Start menu, type in Services. It should be listed right above Desktop App on Windows 10. Windows 7 and Windows 8 users should just say services. So you want to left click on that. We expand this window a little bit here. There should be something that says Apple Mobile Device Service. If you recall earlier, that would have been something that we saw in the previous window we had open. So we'd be looking for that name for the service of Apple Mobile Device Service. You'd want to make sure that underneath status it was running. You could affirm this by actually double clicking on the name of the service. If it's set to the stop position, so if it was currently stopped here, this probably was not the best example here, but if it was stopped, there should be an option here to start the service. And you want to click on start. And then underneath startup type, you want to click on this box and you want to set it to automatic. Again, this is going to be for the Apple service that you guys should have on your computer. And once you've done that, you'll click on apply and OK to get out of this window. And then at that point, again, I'd recommend restarting your computer, reconnect your Apple devices, and hopefully your problem has been resolved. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.